Hey everybody, my name is Izzy and I want to welcome you guys to my channel, uh, SW3D Models. But this is what she looks like. That's the base, the prototype base that I'm putting it on. And here we go. Here's the front in inlet. <laughs> you can barely see it because of the light, but there's the inlet. <laughs> Scoring over here. This is what the guns look like. These the guns were printed with a uh, resin printer. The majority of the print was on my either my CR10 or my Rays uh, N2 plus uh, N2. And as you can see here, these wires were too fragile to print, so I just ended up taking some copper wire and blocks, the leads for it, go with the controls. The controls, um, I printed off in uh, resin, same thing with the uh, guns, and the foot pedals, I also printed off in resin too. And here she is, I put, uh, I layered the seats, because I didn't want to paint the seats, I layered it with uh, leather, so I give it a little bit more of a uh, a better look per se. And here's the back side. Here, same thing. The guns in the front and the guns in the rear are exactly the same. Um, here we go. There she is with some exhaust in the back here. Exhaust in the rear. And that's what she looks like underneath. This underneath here was actually an open part, and I just actually filled it with a styrene sheet. So, and again, the panel lines, I used copper wire to actually replicate the uh, panel lines. She is the thing of beauty, though. It took me approximately one month to actually build this, but I'm gonna actually put like a control panel right there. Um, a decal or something along that lines. But I think she came out pretty good. Uh, like I said, it took me about a month to get everything right. So the file, I, uh, the original file, this is not my design. This file was actually done over in CG Trader. I actually put a link on my uh, Facebook uh, page uh, to link it over there and I, I made some comments to the actual uh, designer and he's gonna go back and actually fix some of the stuff let him know that uh, a lot of people are more interested in the 1 6 scale version than the uh, I think it was originally done in the 118 scale and that um, if he went back and sliced it up and repaired the files he'd get more interest out of it that way so hopefully he's He's taking it to heart and he's uh, moving forward with that. Uh, eventually I plan on painting the bottom here an imperial black or black and white or black and silver and have this on display. And the, excuse me, the, um, the base is actually a camera mount. It's not as steady as I would like it to be. So I think I'm going to have to go buy another one. It's a little bit sturdier. And you can see the front right there because it is top heavy. Got a um, clear rod support in the front. Not as sturdy as I would like. But overall, I think it came out pretty good. Um, let me know, guys. Let me get. Uh, let me know. I can barely speak any English here. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like it, uh, please leave comments below. Um, share, a like, and uh, hopefully, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I plan on putting more of these videos together um, on my builds of uh, 1 6 scale models, uh, i.e. working with uh, Sofa King over the RPF forms, working on the 1 6 scale uh, cockpits, um, the Falcon, and I'll probably put some other videos together on the uh, other models that I designed or if somebody wants me to try and print up a model and finish it. I can do a review on that too. Alright guys, thanks again. Appreciate you watching.